Now then guys, how are we doing? We're back again after that victory in the Betfred Cup final against Celtic. First bit of silverware and we should be riding high as we take on Atalanta today. And nothing but a win will see us go through in that second place and hopefully continue in the Champions League. Now, I said this last season, you know, it wouldn't be a disaster if we dropped down into the Europa League. We are the Europa League reigning champions, so we get an opportunity, if we don't make it, to have a run again and hopefully go back-to-back -back winners there. We do a severe... However, you know, for me, for the club reputation and the quality of the players that we want to bring in, then we need to really be progressing in the Champions League. Now, am I expecting to win the Champions League this season? No, absolutely not. You know, we may go out in the knockout stages, but I would like to at least get out of the group. We are at home against Atalanta as well. That's a big thing. Third against second. We'll just refresh ourselves with the group as it stands. So as you can see, there you go. Atalanta on eight points. Our goal difference has been ruined by that 6-0 defeat. There we go to Real Madrid where we got absolutely ruined. And Atalanta were actually a goal down and come back to win 2-1 with two goals in the last 10 minutes. So, yeah, you know, we can't finish any less than third. I suppose that is the bonus sport. And regardless of what happens at Real Madrid, they cannot catch us. But, yeah, we've got this massive game now against Atalanta. Fingers crossed and all that good stuff that we managed to get through. But, you know, it's not a disaster if we don't. So here we go then, confirmation of those games as Hearts take on Atalanta and Sporting against Real Madrid. Team selection wise then, we're going to go with Lietz in goal, we're not going to go with Lietz in goal, we're going to go with Van der Voort in goal. So Van der Voort in goal, King, Garoun, Barrero and Manquato at the back, we do Sami, Hannibal and Van Ugin out wide, Murillo behind Kearney and Signorelli. Now Daryl Court, yeah we'll bring him in, I was going to play Kearney but we'll go for Court, we know what we're getting out of both of those players, you know they are match winners, so yeah Court and Signorelli up front. So from the social roundup then, Luke Valentine says his time is quality, has to start every game. And Kerr Harold says, I think this is our best team. It's not far away. They've got Zinfilino playing for them as well. We're on a good run lately. He's a player that we have scouted quite a bit. As we're going to play that 4-3-1-2, obviously Signal Rally and Court leading the line. Murillo can cause all kinds of problems. And then I'd imagine they'll play one up front as well. The Will Napari. And Zinfalino, what a player he is. Like I say, someone that we've looked at before. They've got Maxi Gomez out on the left-hand side as well. As confirmation of the league table. Can you imagine if we wake it through? be absolutely massive. Here we go then. In front of the home fans. Full stadium. 90 minutes to prove our worth here. As Juan Quata with a throw early doors is cleared away by Kostov. And Juan Quata, we stroll and back as Pacina picks it up. Gomez, oh, no way, come on, Muhammad, it's blocked there, and Usam is there, to Garon, and we get it cleared, we don't pick it up though, Signorelli's close. he's very slow to get back, Murillo, again, we're looking rather sluggish here, a second to every ball, as that's a great ball over the top, Napari, come on, a big save, and Garon sticks it out for a corner, Van der Voort with a big save there. Corner ball then. Gomez with it in. It's cleared away. King gets it away. Van Uge, you know, we're going to counter here. As they're chasing him down. Go on, lad. He's on the wrong side of the pitch as well. Van Uge. He gets brought down. Referee! It's a throw in. The referee waves it away. Says it was a good tackle. Another highlight then. As it's a goal kick to Atalanta. Big call there turned down. As Napari's through again, has a crack, and Van der Voort is equal to it again. Decent couple of saves in the first 10 minutes as Arsenal are 2 0 up against Basel. Gomez, ball in, it's cleared away. Murillo just about gets there. Gomez again, it's out to Kostov. Viv Viviani to Viti. Pessina, we're pushing them back. It's a ball over, Barrero cuts out, and Usami picks it up. Signorelli to decent touch under pressure. He gets past the car line. Go on, lad. Out to Usami. He's into the box. Usami has a crack. It's blocked. Hannibal. Signorelli. We score. Get in. Usami scores. It's pinball in the box. We had a couple of opportunities. They had many chances to get it clear. And Usami's there. Get in. 1 0 up. It's against the runner play. I'll say that. You know, they should have had it clear there. It's blocked there. Signorelli across should be cleared then. And Usami into, you know, a close range. Keeper's got no chance. Real bet it's a 1-1 with Zenit St. Petersburg. And that is about all that's happening so far. Real Madrid have now just scored against Sporting. So they're 1-0 up 
Liverpool nil nil with Porto. Porto hanging on there. And Barrero get in with 2 0 up. And it looks like we're going through on 27 minutes. Oh, we've, we've done it when we needed to. You know, maybe we're riding high on that, that Betfred Cup victory. But Barrero's there again. Loves the headed goal. But here we go. Highlight then for Atalanta as Pacina in possession. Ball over to Napari again. And it's another big save from Van der Voort. Linesman's got his flag up anyway. It wouldn't have counted. As I am buzzing with how things is going. I'm going to praise the team. And they're loving that as well. As we've got some tight players out there. Isami in court. As the ball is in. It's poor there. Juan Cuato to Hannibal. Murillo to Signorelli. Van Ugen. King has a crack from distance and he's just wide. He hits the side netting. Not far. You know, you don't expect to see Leon King on the score sheet anyway. As there's one more highlight, I reckon, before half time. And we're in possession. Usami to Signorelli. They dive in. Kostov with the tackle. Van Ugin to Signorelli. Got a B. And the keepers out quickly. Vallejos gets down and gets it. This highlight's going to continue. As long as we're in possession, we do not want to be conceding in the last minute of the first half. De Camine then to Viviani. And Apari. We've seen so much of him. It's blocked. Gomez to Viviani. And they have scored. No. I dog do with the goal. Mohamed I dog do. What a name that is. And it's 2 1. Literally, what an awful time to concede. As it's blocked. And then it, it's put on a plate for him. He can't miss. Van der Voort, he's had a decent first half, but he can't keep that one out. And that changes the half-time team talk. So dressing room-wise then, you know, things are going well, but I know you can't well have even better. Tactically, I'm going to have to make some changes. We've got some tired players out there. Usami is done, so veteran court's going to go on. Usami, obviously one of the goal scorers. Oh, man, I can't believe that. Stuck a bit of the wind out of the sails. There's nothing has happened in the second half. I'll take that, and here we go. Just as I'm saying that, then Gomez, he's got plenty of time. Eight now, or eight. Has a crack. Oh, my God. It's an absolute screamer. Van der Voort can't keep it out. We give him so much time. So much time. And it's two apiece. Oh, man. Look at the state of it. Where are we? What, who's he there? What is he doing? Murillo just backs off. It's a screaming in fairness. Oh, God, we've blown a 2-0 lead. Atlanta are actually the better side. Eight shots, seven on target. Here we go, though. Highlight on 67 minutes. We turn over possession, but Hannibal is there. Right, here we go. Hannibal out to King. Ball across. He's cleared away. Juan Cuato is having a decent game. We've got so many tied players out there. Signorelli to Hannibal. We need to be careful. We get caught on a counter here. Hannibal to Murillo to Juan Cuato. Van Ugen. And there we go. Oh, we just get back in. Signorelli maybe offside. He scores and he counts. He counts. It's 3-2. It looked like he was offside. But the linesman's kept his flag down. We'll see it again. It's got to be close. No, he was well on in fairness. And there we go. 3-2. As we're actually going to see it again. Well onside. Nothing to worry about there. As I need to make some changes really. 71 minutes. I've got a couple of changes to make. Balotieri is going to come on for Juan Cuato. And I'm going to go Sarik for Marilla, who's not having a great game. There we go. So that's all my changes made with 18 minutes to go. That was quite an attacking change. Because Liverpool are now 2 0 up against Porto. Real Madrid 4 0 up. Deary me. And we scored getting Barrero. There we go. Game over 4 2 on 80 minutes. We go through to the next round. Corner ball from Hannibal. You know, my centre-backs have done some great work on set-pieces. Roma did 4-0 against Sporting. Liverpool 2-1 against Porto. Arsenal 4-0 against Basel. As time is ticking away, it's got to be too late for them now. Pessina picks it up. I'm disappointed we've conceded two again. And it's just wide there. That would have made it nervy for the last couple of minutes. But we've done what we needed to hear as Sporting have scored. And if Porto were 2-2 with Liverpool. Seven minutes of stoppage is there. And there we go, get in. Good couple of episodes for results there. I'm very happy with the performance. We managed to sneak through the group 
We finished in second spot on nine points. We've done what we needed to do. Goal difference definitely helped us there as well. As we managed to put four goals in. Serrano with a hat-trick. What a player he is for Real Madrid. I'm going to scout him. £67 million on 300k per week. We'd never be able to get him anyway. But absolutely buzzing with that. Atalanta blow qualification chances. That's a headline. We took hearts for granted, says Philippe Clement. He certainly did. Leon King's out for four to seven days. That's fine. Van Ugin is injured. He's out for four to five days with a twisted knee. Hearts qualify for the first knockout round. We get 2.46 million for the win. And Hannibal is on form with two assists in that one. You were superb. Well done, lad. So there we go then, guys. That is it. Now, we're just waiting for that group stage draw, which will happen between episodes. So, yes, we'll obviously speak about the draw before the games anyway. But for me, where are you going to join me next? I think, you know, we should maybe just come back. Dundee Kilmarnock come back at the end of December and we can have a chat about what we're going to do in the January transfer window. And then we'll probably come back for one game against St Mirren when all the transfer business has been done. And we'll have a little bit of a deadline day scramble, I reckon. So, yes, that's where you'll join me next then for Dundee and Kilmarnock in the league. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And I'll catch you later. ta -ra.